I'm Officer Bobby Doobie with the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission here in the Florida Keys. Three important things you need to have with you when you come down here is safety, common sense, and patience. If you have those three things, hopefully you will have a safe and enjoyable experience here in the Keys. We have no diving at night where other counties in the state of Florida you can dive for lobster at night. However, you can bully net for lobster at night here in the Florida Keys. Also, when you go out there and you're going to be participating in the, the lobster sport season, uh, you need to have a, your saltwater fishing license, your crawfish endorsement, or your crawfish stamp for starters. You need to have this lobster gauge with you while you're in the water. That is uh, very important that the lobster is measured in the water and it is legal size before it's put in your catch bag. First thing you want to do is when you catch it, I like to roll it over and make sure it's not an egg bearing female. If it is an egg bearing female, which will look like red or orange caviar underneath, uh, you immediately have to release it back into the water. You cannot possess any egg bearing females. In the state of Florida, the lobster carapace, which is the head, the hard shell has to be greater than three inches, not three inches. So if your gauge were to fall off the back portion of the carapace or the head, it would be undersized and you have to immediately let it go. Okay, and this would be one of your six lobsters per person uh, while you're out recreating. You're now allowed to separate the head from the tail. The lobsters must remain in whole condition uh, while you're harvesting lobster. You want to make sure when you are in the water, you don't have any type of device uh, that would puncture this tail or the head. You cannot have anything in the water, a spear gun or a gig, that would puncture the, the lobster and, and, and damage it or kill it. Make yourself aware of the local ordinances and regulations of where you can and cannot take lobster. For instance, no take zones are uh, the Card Sound Lobster Sanctuary, Everglades National Park, Dry Tortugas National Park, and Biscayne Bay. Make yourself aware of the special preservation areas uh, in the Florida Keys National Marine Sanctuary. And there are big yellow balls, so anything inside uh, those big yellow balls is a special preservation area, and those are no-take zones also. You cannot lobster within 300 feet of any improved shoreline or residential area. You'll see the lobster antenna sticking out of a hole or a crevice. Okay, so you want to dive down, and when you find it, take your little tickle stick. It's called that for a reason. Go behind a little lobster in the, in the crevice of the hole and tickle him out. He'll come walking out of the hole. Okay, you want to take your net and, and put it between the lobster and, and the, the hole he just came out of. Okay, and then you will tap it on the head. Okay, and with a live lobster, it will go right into the net, and then you, you can secure him. If you're a boater, you want to make sure all your safety gear is in order. Everything, you have enough life jackets for everyone on board. And make sure you have a designated driver if there are going to be uh, alcoholic beverages on a boat. Uh, file a float plan because safety is no accident. If you haven't done it in a while, you might maybe want to do a, a, a check-off dive with your local uh, dive company. Make sure you have a dive buddy. Check your air. Uh, stay within uh, the proper distance of your diver's down flag. Every lobster season, the distance for your lobster dive flag is 300 feet or 100 yards. You need to make sure you have a, a 360 awareness around you, especially when you're among other boats, especially some of the bridges. We have a lot of bridges here in the Keys. If you're going to be going under the bridge, please come off a plane, settle it in the water, look for divers, uh, have a lookout, look for bubbles. You want to be very respectful for our environment our ecosystem, and all the conservation that is entailed here in the Keys. That includes don't anchor in coral, please find a sandy bottom, don't touch the coral, don't flip over coral heads, be respectful for our environment. We want you to connect and protect the environment down here that we cherish.